enzymes in that saliva will actually paralyze the victim and they kind of eat. They're stuck in place. So imagine that you're a tadpole, and then as that saliva works its way into the system, it actually breaks apart the victim's insides. And then they drink it up just like a milkshake. How horrific. Is the swim team in the building? I said it's the swim team in the building. Let's drown these and get these gold medals. Squat! Before this video starts, I want to give a big shout out to the homie Screwface Gene. Screwface Gene basically suggested that I start doing reaction videos you know, use my personality and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to do, man. Today's video, we're going to react to this man getting bitten by a toe biter. I have no idea what the hell a toe biter is, but guess what? I guarantee you something I'm not going to be going to get bitten by. You know what? I'm going to say something. Before even really looking at this video, I can already tell that it's a white dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel as a white folks be scared of the wrong things, bro. Like, you see me in a hoodie, and the first thing you think is, Oh my God! Oh my God! You see? My camera, my camera moving. So you see me walking down the street in a hoodie, and the first thing you think is, Oh my God! <sighs> Let me clutch my purse. Right? But you'll go to the damn Amazon, and you probably want to feed a crocodile. Like, you want to touch the tongue of a crocodile to see if it's going to snap off and bite your hand. Like, y'all be scared of the wrong things. I know for sure I wouldn't try to get bitten by a toe biter. Why the hell, in my right mind, it's a toe biter. It sound painful. It sound painful. It sound like something I, I would not want to get bitten by. But let's, let's go ahead and see, man. Let's see what happens. Shop of Horrors itself. The giant water bug. Also known as a toe bite. Now let me tell you guys a little story about when Coyote Peterson was eight years old. I was out in the swamps searching for snapping turtles, wearing nothing other than shorts and a t-shirt. Wading through, hoping to come across a giant reptile. When all of a sudden I felt a piercing pain in my thigh. I immediately screamed, reached my hand up my shorts, and what do I pull out? A giant water bug. I had never seen one of these creatures before. I immediately started crying, not only from the pain, but because I was absolutely terrified at the sight of this thing. I hobbled myself back to shore, got myself home, told my mom what happened, and we looked it up in a field guide. She called the doctor, and lo and behold, they assured me I would be okay. It is not going to kill you. All I needed to do was put ice on the bite and relax for about an hour and a half, and finally the pain ended up going away. And ever since that day, uh, my question is, right, so if you know how painful it is, why the hell you want to get bit again? Bro, look how big that joint is. It's bigger than the actual jars, huh? This is the one insect that I've truly been afraid of. Now, before we get to the bite, let's take a look at this insect's anatomy. Now, this is a true bug. It may look like a beetle or a cockroach, but it is, in fact, its own variety. There are around 60 species of water bugs worldwide. In the United States, there are 20. Now this one here, the giant water bug, is very common here in Central and South America. And this is about maximum size. The largest they get is around four inches in length. And I would say- Bro, that hell no, that's your big as hell. three and a half inches. An absolute monster. Now it's interesting, you can see it kind of skittering around its- Hold on. Is that flower? What is that on his back? Oh man, yo, Danae would have nightmares about this. Skittering around inside the container here as soon as I move it. But you see that position that it's putting itself in? Where it's sticking its rear up through the water? Look at that little snorkel looking device there. That is actually how it's breathing. They breathe from their back end. <laughs> it's like a little butt snorkel, right? Hey, yo, bro, so you about to get bitten by a roach that breathes through his ass. You about to, you about to willfully, willingly get bitten by a roach that's breathing through his ass. I, yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Wow. <laughs> so it's keeping itself positioned like that, and this is also the same position in which they hunt. I'll tell you what's most intimidating about this creature are those front arms. Let me turn it just a little bit like that. Now, like all insects, they have six legs, and these front two are modified with those hooks on the front. They use those to 
latch onto and grapple in their food. Well, let's see the snorkel go in and out. Yeah, the snorkel does. It goes in that. You can see it's kind of thrust its abdomen up into the air there. That's allowing it to breathe so it can just flow. Why would you willingly like get bitten by this? Just like that, all day long, waiting for, let's say, you know, tadpoles need to come to the surface to breathe. Frogs need to come to the surface. A fish could just swim by, and if it swims right up towards that face, what they will do is reach out with those forearms, and they have two hooks right on end. They'll grapple on and pull it towards their face. Right on the face there is what's called a rostrum, which is like a little hooked beak. Now, it is inside of a sheath, so as soon as they catch something, it comes out of that sheath, and it injects an incredibly potent saliva. Now, the enzymes in that saliva will actually paralyze the victim, and they kind of eat. They're stuck in place. So imagine that you're a tadpole, and then as that saliva works its way into the system, it actually breaks apart the victim's insides. And then they drink it up just like a milkshake. How horrific is that? Is that what it's going to do to your toe? Why would you well, willingly get bitten by this stuff? It's not going to let it hold on that long, but what it is going to do is latch on and then whoosh, whap me with that rostrum. And just a little bit of that saliva right. getting into my system. Oh, I ain't going to lie. Unbelievably painful. I ain't gonna lie. I want to. I want to see his ass get bit now. Like I, the history behind all this. I, that's cool. But I want to see his ass get bit. I want to see. They'll be bit. drawn in by the hunt. Not just. Where where he getting bit at? So that's a big ass roach. That's a big ass roach. Oh, that's. Yo, Danae would have a heart attack if she saw See how this. They scurry like that. Oh. That's a big ass roach. Powerful. Let me turn it like that for you. Look at the underside. Actually, you know what? Let me grab that leaf again because now we can see it better that it's out of the water. Ooh, it's so strong. That's so look at the underside. It's so strong as compared to a leaf. Underside of the leaf, underside of the water bug. Almost identical, right? Really hard to spot in the water. Yeah. And look at the eyes. They tilt it forward a little bit. They actually have really good eyesight. And those eyes reflect red if you shine a flashlight into the water. That's how you can identify one of these insects. Let's try it again. It's so angry right now. That should make my skin crawl, huh? And you can see on the back here, it has a joint that allows it to move its head forward and backward. That's how they can drive that rostrum into their prey. Yo, it's yeah, making my skin crawl. I can't lie. Oh system. my god. Bro, this all right. I want to see his ass get bit. He, he guys, too excited. He too excited. For me, a true moment of insane bravery. Insane bravery. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my poor toe. <laughs> Give it one more look. Oh, man. This is craziness. Absolute craziness. Okay. Oh man, I don't know if I can go through for this. <laughs> you, could just, you could just like actually drop it and scurry back on the Yeah, maybe right I throw up in the air and it flies away. Anticipation is killing me. Anticipation is killing me right now. GoPro rolling. Water bug out of the container without being bitten. Brolic ass so fucking strong. roach. Good grip. Good grip. Good grip. Right there. Time to face your fears. Why? Are we ready? You're Why? Ready. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm Kyrie Peterson. I'm about to be fit. Why the toe bite? Here we go. One, two, three. Ain't bite Oh shit! Ah, Stop! Ah, you're making the cater. Ah, ah. Why, bro? Why? Just as bad as I remember. Uh, ah, why? Ah, why? Oh, that is worse than a stink. Uh, oh. You, 
leaking. He's leaking too. Ah. I hope you guys got that shot. Ah. You got it. Mm. You got it too, man. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. This guy's is worse than a sting. Oh, God. Let me put my foot up here on the table. Bro, I'm going to say this, bro. Why? Why would you willingly get bitten by a toe biter? Like, what? What? That is a brolic ass roach, bro. I'm not going to hold you. That is a... Look, hold on. Let's go back, bro. That is a brolic ass roach. I don't care. Like... When Danae get, look at this. When Danae, be, when my wife being here talking about, oh, a roach came in from outside. Oh, I don't like going outside because it be roaches outside. I'll be like, listen, kill it. If I see that, I don't know. You feel me? I don't know. All the home in me might come out because that. Nah, bro, you got it. All right, I want to see what actually happened, though. Like, what happened afterwards? Man, did it just scream in pain immediately. Oh, my foot is throbbing. Uh, uh, this is like... Uh, this is like dropping a brick on your toe. Uh, I can't move my toe. Uh, I'm gonna say some real stuff, man. Um, I can't say anything real because I wouldn't willingly get bitten by no toe biter. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. That's not where I'm at at this point in my life. Call me a punk. You feel me? Call me whatever. Shout out to him though, man. He, he putting himself in immediate danger for how, our entertainment. It was definitely entertaining. I give him that, but I can't do it. I can't do it. He can have that. Uh, that's the video, though. Um, if you like the video, make sure you leave a comment. I'm, I plan on doing a lot more reactions. So if you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, definitely send me some suggestions of stuff that you want me to react to. As far as right now, I'm just going to go find things. But, you know, just find stuff that you want me to react to, and I'll definitely do it. I definitely want to get Danae in here to do reactions with me because I know it's going to be freaking hilarious. But that's the video. Squad!